Mm -hmm. And if some of one or more of those people leave, now they have to rehire for that. And so that's something you don't have to do, but at what cost? Well, did they go from like, was it cloud platform to their own data centers and they built their own data centers? Oh, so they're not even going with uh, like. A, I don't know if they built their own like physical wall. Because that's what I'm. Centers. Centers. Yeah, because yeah. you could like. I mean, there's still a bunch of data center providers out there. Yeah. So, yeah, that yeah. just gives you. Like full be, yeah, yeah, rack space, expedient. Blah, yeah, blah, 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 exactly. Blah. Yeah. yeah, so uh, they might have done that. I don't recall that specifically. Um, you know, the more important thing is that like they're not shelling out for all the compute time. You know, into that, and they built their own stack. That's interesting. You know, of tech, and they probably. I mean, why wouldn't you? you know, outsource that to somebody else that already has generators and UPSs and yeah, the yeah, infrastructure yeah. to do that um, type of thing. But, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. That's a neat story. Um, and it, it really got me thinking. It was like, okay, so who is AWS really for then? Or any cloud service provider at that matter. is like, you know, it's great for the small person that, like, you know, I'm trying to spin something up. I'm a new startup or something like that. Like, I'll tell you, like, at Pisky's, like, back end right now, I pay 30 bucks a month. The entire back end infrastructure is 30 bucks a month, you know? Um, and it's, it's almost like, like the, the digital version of WeWork or something. Yeah, it's yeah. like you, you can commoditize and, like, share the, co- the fixed costs associated right. with all this infrastructure. Yeah, exactly. But as soon as you get to a scale, then it makes sense to pull it in house, you know? 